You've heard of the black market, blood diamonds and the dark web, but what about black money? Well in this video I'll take you on a deep dive into the world of tainted cash. But first, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay across the latest videos from Kalkine. So what is the meaning of black money? Black money is derived from the illegal activity used to raise cash and legitimate income that is not registered for tax. The proceeds of black money are usually paid in cash from illegal economic activity and are thus not charged. Black money recipients only invest in the underground economy, hide it or use money laundering to give it the appearance of legitimacy. So what is the nature of black money? Illegal activity is used to earn black money by collecting funds and taxes that are not paid to the government. However, the word black money is inherently complicated. Even money earned by legal means can be referred to as black money. For example, suppose a grocery store accepts cash after a transaction but does not include receipts to its customers. This indicates that the store is dealing with black money because it will not pay tax on unrecorded transactions. Consider the case of a property buyer who pays $500,000 for a piece of land. If the buyer declares $100,000 to the government and pays $400,000 under the table, the deal is worth $400,000 in black money. In both cases, the sellers made money from legitimate sources but avoided paying taxes. So where does black money come from? The black market economy, also known as the shadow economy, is a form of business that operates outside of government controls, rules and taxes. Exotic animals, arms, pirated movies and CDs, endangered species of animals, illicit drugs and human organs for transplant surgeries are all examples of products sold on the black market. Illegal activity such as the theft of financial and personal information often generates black money and cyber criminals are highly skilled at carrying it out. They obtain credit cards and bank accounts to open new lines of credit. On the surface, legal endeavours that are carried out under the table also constitute black money and fall under the black market. For example, a tradesperson enters the black market system if they accept a cash bribe and then fail to declare it on their taxes, even though the job is actually legal, because the tax evasion they've engaged in is illegal. So what effect does black money have on the country's economic growth? The country's black money has a significant impact on its economic development. Unreported income that is not taxed allows the government to lose revenue, resulting in financial leakage. Furthermore, these funds rarely make it into the financial system. As a result, entrepreneurs and small legal businesses could find it more difficult to obtain loans. The nation's financial well-being is also undervalued as a result of black money. Since participants in the black market have strong incentives to mask their activities, estimating the proportion of black money in any market is quite difficult. The gross domestic product or gross national product of a country does not contain these earnings. As a result, a country's consumption, investments and other macroeconomic variables forecasts will be deceptive. These inaccuracies harm the country's planning and policy making. So what is the link between money laundering and black money. Money laundering is a practice by which criminals conceal their accumulated wealth by converting black money into white money or cleaning it. People who have black money are unable to invest it publicly. As a result, they either keep it hidden, spend it on the black market or make it usable in the eyes of the law. That involves running the black money through a white money entity before returning it to the source. For example, an individual could either purchase or have an arrangement with a business that predominantly deals with cash, such as a dry cleaning business. They could then utilise the services of the cash business with their dirty money and then funnel that money back into their accounts as cleaned money. What are the benefits though of using black money? To relieve shortages and procure forbidden goods, people turned to the underground economy. In some instances, Governments introduced price controls or sales taxes that rendered products unavailable or unaffordable. There was a way to mitigate the harm by then using black money. Black money can also help to mitigate the effects of institutionalised racism. 
Governments have historically prohibited certain races from exchanging shares, owning property, or engaging in other forms of commerce. Some discrimination victims were forced into less controlled areas where they could earn black money as a result of these bans. But what are the drawbacks of using black money? Criminal activities such as corruption are the product of ill-gotten money in the market, promoting its illicit use, especially during elections. Also, murders are carried out for political vengeance, with black money changing hands between the killers and those who hire them to carry out the crime itself. Terrorist acts are also a result of black money, which puts the country's stability overall at risk. Unsocial elements can quickly obtain illicit firearms. The illicit funds are used for various illegal activities, including drug trafficking, in hotels and nightclubs, and also, of course, for weaponry on a wider scale. So between that information and living vicariously through Walter White and Ozark's Marty Bird, hopefully you know a little bit more about black money and how it impacts economies. If you enjoy the information contained in this video, make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel, and of course, press the bell icon to be notified of the latest videos from Kalkine. For further info, head across to the website, kalkinemedia.com. I'm James Preston for Kalkine.